Hi viewers, today we are going to review and uh, look, in, look inside this uh, uh, smart uh, flag, smart plug from TP-Link. Uh, this is the it has three modes: scheduled timer and away mode. So timer mode, you know the timer, and uh, schedule mode it will uh, on and off at schedule intervals, and away mode it will it will on and off at uh, random time intervals, but uh, as per the set duration but uh, unfortunately we can't customize that random time interval so we can't modify it so that's it and this is a wi-fi smart plug then the bluetooth is only used for the onboarding purpose uh, so we can't uh, control it uh, via bluetooth so as you can see it was mentioned bluetooth setup so you can't control it via bluetooth so let's open it and see inside uh, and this device will also work even though if there is no internet so offline mode also it will work it will store the, all the settings so even if the internet goes offline it will still work And this is the user manual uh, just set up and uh, normal paper documentation so blue as you can to as you told this is bluetooth setup so they highlighted it uh, this is the plug uh, so bulky one so you will know why it's so bulky so reason for this to be bulky it was like the iot chip was uh, mounted in such a way uh, vertically so due to due to that it was so bulky uh, later in this video it will, i will show so nothing in the box empty just a small paperwork about the setup that's it nothing else okay now we will look inside this uh, uh, smart adapter so this is the child lock mechanism this is the uh, this button short press will reset the wi-fi settings and long press will reset the whole device power reset switch This is the diffuser for the LED indicator. This this will this indicator. <coughs> so this is the main inside the main inside the unit. They have given some plastic protection. So this is the <coughs> inside we have brass pins or contacts but here we have on steel and uh, that too there is no uh, cutting slot generally for 16 amps we will have but for this there is no such slot cutting <coughs> like we will have a uh, cross section um, for the metal to expand if it's overheat so that there is no such thing uh, here. Uh, issue like like this is supposed to be. It's good if they have provided brass even this side also and with this kind of protection. So what this will do is like in case of overheating, this will uh, help us to. It will help us. It will help for it to expand. Uh, that's the thing. So uh, this is the PCB, and uh, this is the main IOC, IOT chip. 
that has Bluetooth and uh, Wi-Fi. So you can see the antenna, PCB antenna. You can see the PCB antenna. It's running. As you can see, it seems to be the antenna this is the ESP chip that has Wi-Fi and the low power Bluetooth so I will show the data sheet of it um, simple construction so this is the relay they have they are using the 5 volt uh, 5 volt relay you can see 5 volt relay small relay <coughs> uh, you can see the energy meter i see below the red uh, sticker uh, that's a bl0937 this will this is this is the hot the, it will switch the device on off compared to my other smart uh, uh, smart plug which I already reviewed you can find it in my videos that has some big that has a little bit bigger uh, uh, relay that makes a little bit uh, bigger sound compared to this one this also makes sound a uh, little bit different but that sound is not that much high while while triggering so that's the thing so all the components <coughs> this is the led here you can find the led indicator this is the led indicator so this is the button for the reset on on off uh, what else we have seen? I'm not sure why they have given this kind of design in the PCB, not sure. Is it fair? Okay, that's it. This is the data sheet of that uh, I uh, SOC the chip. So, this is a low power SOC with uh, both 2.5 gate Wi Fi and Bluetooth. So let's see specifications. This is the specification. Low power Bluetooth low power integrated. These are its specifications. You can see Bluetooth five, let's see the Bluetooth version five. Uh, <coughs> supports 20 megahertz bandwidth it has one core at the cpu specifications cp specifications cp spec And for this plug they are using 2 MB flash uh, IC to store the data Bluetooth 5 20 dB This is the website, top of website. Mm, I want to show one thing here. So, for this Indian region, this is the first uh, smart flag for them, but uh, unfortunately, they have not listed it in their website. But they started selling it, not sure why. So, as you can see, there is no smart flag section. See, only smart flag. But if we can, but when you, when, but if we search 
for that plug which is P110 see we are getting smart plug P if you click on it it will show see see it even gives the option to buy not sure why they have hidden it inside uh, inside the web page so even though if you if even though if you try to see this is the address bar see it was showing product smart plex so if i try to remove this section and only go for smart plex section see this is what it displays page cannot phone but it's their smart flag this is the their first smart flag in this indian region but unfortunately they are not listing in their website see it's not there you need to search then it will come if let me show you in the other regions let me switch to other regions okay <coughs> let's switch to a different region same in asia only so switch to we'll switch to australia we'll go for products see smart plex in different in other regions it was showing smart plex whereas in indian region it was not showing smart plex actually this p P110 so actually this P110 actually the latest model is M P110 M which stand the M stands for matter so this is matter certificate which is a new model uh, there is one more model in P10 that has only P10 and one with P10 with uh, Bluetooth setup <coughs> total three and this is the latest one not sure why when they going to launch in other regions it's already available matter certified matter certified you can it will be as you know it will work on different platforms so <coughs> so that's the thing i want to show this that's why i'm showing you uh, so one more other thing i want to point it out so on the home screen of the app it will show the upcoming events but there is no no mobile notification and this is the energy meter dashboard you can see the all the parameters like current time usage and this plug has a wattage uh, threshold control option as well so you can set the wattage according to the appliances